guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Petska International, an artist and educator here, and today we are going to do a nice and beautiful blush pink nail. So you can have a wee preview of it in here. So it is not going to be anything too complicated, but absolutely stunning look, and I hope you really uh, enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start. <laughs> I have prepared the uh, press on set nails uh, in here and we are going to do a pink and white uh, set today so we are going to start with the pinky nail if you would do this design on the client there is lots of tutorials on the channel how to recreate um, how to do a full set of the sculpted nails and uh, how to do the rebalance or how to do the setup on the tips you can just uh, access those videos as well and I'm starting with the pinky and it's a color one of my favorite ones actually 155 called sweet sight it's a really beautiful um, pink look it in there so that's the sweet sight and then the ring finger We are going to apply it uh, some foil gel, uh, nail foil gel, and I got it from the Rosalind. It comes actually as a set, uh, which is fab, and I'm surprised how well this uh, gel takes it, uh, the foil. So we are going to do a full coverage on this one. So basically, we'll just prep the nail and then apply it, it on the entire nail. I will give you the link in the description of the video as well of the products I have used it. It's quite um, thin consistency, so maybe not best for like painting the single designs, like really precise one, but for a full coverage, it is absolutely fantastic. Put it inside the lamp, exactly a 60 seconds cure. And in the meantime, we are going to uh, actually, we will do the same on this one, but we will just paint it half a nail for a change. So we are going to paint just half a nail, which way? This way. Okay, half a nail. I'm not bothered about painting it really nice and straight because we are going to put some gems or a glitter in the line. So that was 25 seconds. I just need to remember it. And now I'm, I can cut the piece of the foil. And we're going to go for those beautiful flowers. I will just cut a couple of them. Okay, the first tip is ready. And this is actually long enough, is it? Yes, it is. So I'm going to use this part of the foil. Okay, place it in into your nail. You can use also your finger to kind of dab it in. And then with the silicone tool, just rub it in gently. Just so the foil really sticks in there. Okay, make sure you reach every single corner. And you can see it, I have, uh, it sticks in everywhere and it's kind of staying like in this position. So you can also go and massage with your finger and then check it if the foil is start coming off okay so you would go gently in the one corner and start picking it off and you can see it that's it already transfer in there okay so we have transfer really beautifully uh, the flower design on this uh, on this nail and to make it even prettier, 
we are going to add some sparkle through it as well. But let me quickly do some design on the pinky as well. So just apply the second coat of this amazing color. Hook it in. Then the other half is ready as well. And we are going to apply the flowers in different direction maybe now. Okay, so just press it and then use the silicone tool to transfer it. If you don't have a silicone tool, you could use the finger for it as well. And then peel it off. So it works absolutely amazing. Now I'm just going to stick in some uh, gems into those two foil foil nails. Actually, I will swap them. This will be ring finger, and then on the thumb I can do the same one. <laughs> and let's use some glitter. Okay, I'm going to use this glitter. On my mixing pot and I've got really kind of old brush for the glitter application but it's just so the gems don't look uh, on their own like uh, I want I wanted to do it this glittery line. Okay, cook it inside. So this nail is finished as well. And we are going to add some sparkle in here as well. Just a little sparkle. Cook it in. And now time for a gems application. So I'm using the Soak of Base Gel for a gems. Just put a tiny bit of it on my mixing palette. Clean my brush from the glitter. And we are going to stick the gems. Okay, three small dots. And my crystals. So I want this ones. No, I want this ones and I want this ones. So it's not over the top, but these crystals are finishing the design, like making it even more beautiful. Move them into the nice places and then once you're happy, give it a flash cure. We are going to do exactly the same in here, so pick up the crystal. So it's not over the top, cook it in. And then we need to add some, cure this one, so apply the top coat, so we've got one finished. Go nice around the crystals. Don't apply the crystals or uh, top coat on the top of the crystals because then they lose their shine. This looks absolutely, absolutely stunning, but it's not too complicated uh, to do it. So, same on this one. Cook it in. We need to add some sparkle in here as well. Let 
just a little bit inside the flowers like not too much so it's only visible when the lights hit it give it a flash cure then we still have to do the design on the fan so definitely we are going to do half of the foil and then this one needs to be painted the fill color just so it goes with the rest okay this one is cure so I can apply the high shine no wipe top gel and the nail is going to be finished So I've got the pinky ready, let's put it on the plate. And apply the next finger here. Again, full color. Cook it in. This one is ready as well, so we can use it for a thumbnail. And we will make it a ring finger because it's so pretty. Let me stick that in. Not enough blue tack. And the stuff I'm using is called blue tack. It's like on sticky plastiline. You can see we've got two nails ready and they look really pretty. Okay, let's do the thumb as well. Actually, it's so much fun when we can, I can create it uh, like a full five nails because uh, then there is a concept of all the, all the design. And maybe, oh, maybe for a change, let's go and do this design on top of the color halfway through and then on the bottom, the foil. Why not? Okay, so now I'm just trying to paint kind of neater look. We'll still do the crystal in there, so... That's give you another idea how to use it as well. So cook it in. Second layer. I really enjoy doing those type of uh, nails when they are not over the top this one is ready and it is our index finger second layer guys if there is anything else you would like to see it let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to record lots of lots of tutorials for you. And to save the time, I'm just going to straight away apply the glue as well. Click it in. So the glue I have cured 60 seconds and it worked fantastic for me. On this one, we are going to do another crystal placement. So I have just cleaned my brush and pick up a drop more of the base gel. And we are going to do a slightly bigger one. So one, two, three crystals on the top. Two, and one. Okay, once you place the crystals, you can always move them before you cook it, just to make sure they are all nice 
placed. And then we are going to apply the foil. Now, some like gel polish will always transfer the foil a little bit as well. So sometimes if I want to work and do a messy design, I would uh, use it. And also another thing as well, like just in case if some of you is beginners, you can see it. This is a matte side and then that's the shiny side. So we always use the matte side of the foil to transfer. So here I want the flowers to go. Let's go like this. Okay, use the tool. So I didn't apply it on top of the gel polish uh, because like the gel polish would transfer some uh, transfer foil as well. Like it would be in a messy look, it wouldn't come off in a one piece. So different products are giving our different results like and like I would use the foil design gel, the black one for like very precise design like a gels and those type of designs. Full coverage, actually this one is fantastic and I give you the link in the description as well. And the gel polish will give us completely different effect as well. And I have uh, showed some tutorials on that as well, but I will be doing more because uh, that's so quick and easy uh, for a salon. So now I'm just peeling this foil. I've got part of the flower which is missing. A little bit. Is it this one? Yes, this one. That's it. And then we are going to apply those gems. And I think like with everything, you need to practice something. You need to try something. It, it, it's not the way like something works straight away. Uh, so never give up as well. And uh, I have seen it quite a few comments like where you guys have said like, oh, I'm not happy with my nails, like, or I would never be able to do it. Something like this. I wasn't able to do it as well. Uh, I mean, this is easy kind of designs, but some of the painting I'm doing as well. And I, um, I'm thinking to do that video where I would be showing you all sort of uh, different work when I started. So it wasn't even pretty uh, on the beginning. And I think we all start somewhere. And uh, reaching the experience, our work is getting better and better. So. I wouldn't expect anyone like to to be able to paint so beautiful on the beginning like you need to paint some designs a couple of times to be able to to do it again but if you want to see the video of my work like how it did look when I started again let me know down in the comments below because I want to see it if you want to guys see it and if you do then I will record the tutorial with my old nail work when I started uh, that's it wasn't even pretty like the nails were misshaped and all. So this one has the crystals in and we can cook it that out. This one needs the top coat. It, it does. <laughs> it does need the top coat. So absolutely quick way of doing a beautiful design and you don't need much of the skills uh, to be able to complete this design, pretty simple to do it. But I think, yeah, it looks really nice. Okay, the top coat, again, don't apply it on top of the crystals. Cook it and then I show you the final look for, uh, for all the tips which we have created. And uh, again, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this uh, tutorial and if you enjoy it as well, like if you're okay to watch it on the um, press on tips, press on nails tips, because uh, uh, I think this way I can show the complete look on five fingers and give you even more idea how to connect the designs uh, rather than showing just on one or two tips. Okay, so we've got another one. Oh, come on, move nice. This one to this side. And this one a bit to the right. And then the fun. I actually really like this set. It turned out so beautiful. 
Yeah, so that's the finished, finished results. Uh, they're not nice, like, I mean, not nice order. The nails are nice, but they should be tidy up nicer. Uh, yeah, so that's what we have created. And uh, I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Glittery hacks and bye for now. Mm -hmm.